Hello friends, welcome to the Alpha Point. I'm Vishal and today I'm gonna show you how to get Note 3 features in your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So first you need to root your device and there may be a chance of um, breaking your device. So I'm not responsible for that and generally it doesn't happen but uh, if you do something wrong then it happens. So if you just want to get the, all those Note 3 features in your Note 2 then I'm gonna show you from start what you have to do and how to get that. So first thing that you need is to connect your device with your USB port in your PC. Then copy the necessary files. I would say the ROM. This Ditto ROM DN35 as you can see. Copy this to your hard disk, to your uh, external memory of your phone. Just copy it, let it copy here. As you can see, the file has been copied here. So, after copying the file, what you need to do is to uh, Enable the developer option or de uh, USB debugging in your device. So to do that, switch on my device. I'm running stock Android right now, Android 4.3.1. Go in about device in your also in the stock uh, ROM. You can go in about device and just click few times in build number. After clicking few numbers. You will be, your developer options will be enabled. You can go back and there will be able to see developer option. Just click here, enable the option and in uh, and you also need to enable the USB debugging. As you can see, USB debugging, debugging has been enabled here. You will not be able to perform root action without enabling the USB debugging. So you have enabled the USB debugging, you have copied the uh, ROM in your external drive and what you need to do is to back up all your contacts, messages, call logs, everything that you want to save all, uh, basically all your data from your SD card uh, so internal memory I would say so back up those and then we can proceed the backup process needs to be done by yourself and then what you need to do is to um, boot my device in uh, download mode. To do that, disconnect my device. Turn off my device. Turn your device and then we need to boot in recovery. Not in recovery, in download mode. To start your phone in download mode, what you need to do is to press the volume low button plus home button and plus power button at the same time. So I'm gonna press all those three buttons at the same time. If you can see here, as you can see, this option will come to your device and you will be able to boot in download mode. Just press volume up button here as you can see volume up equal to continue and your phone has been started in download mode so what we need to do is to open up the odin in pc now you need to get all those files first then you should start so open the odin open with run apps administrator and then as you will see this type of window so first now connect your device after connecting your device you will be able to see a blue point here with the com numbers and select auto reboot and F reset time now what you need to do is to locate the AP file here. So select AP here and then locate your uh, 
fill recovery i have been placed in my desktop here from fill here here it is fill recovery select it guys and then just start the process it will um, install the recovery in your device first as you can see there is it is complete here and your device has been started to root boot at present i'm running sanation mod 4.3.1 it is running here if your device boot into this mode uh, you may have installed it you may not have installed if if so to confirm that what we need to do is to power off our device Uh, to check whether recovery has been installed or not, just try to boot into recovery by pressing home button, volume up button and power button. So let me do that. Home button, volume button and the power button. As you can see, the phone has booted in recovery mode here. So, fail recovery has been installed in our phone. It was already installed here, but it will not be shown. So, uh, let me show you what to do next. So, the next thing that you need is to back up all your uh, ROM first. So first, go to backup and restore. Backup, backup two external SD card. First, you need to backup your two external card. Then you need to proceed. The next thing that you need is to uh, backup your modem settings and EFS setting. To do that, go to cell setting. Custom backup and restore, custom backup job, and select your modem file just. Select nothing is selected right now, as you can see. Then select your modem, backup modem here, and just start custom backup job. Backup to external card. will take some time here you may not be able to back up but uh, it is purely safe to back up your device first and then proceed and install different ROM you may uh, see any problem here but it is first to back up First thing to back up your device before installing any ROM. So the our backup is complete here. Now the next thing that we need is to back up our EFS. That's main that the IMI details of our device. So select backup EFS and EFS is backup just alone. So sel don't select any other option here. Select EFS backup and then le select start custom backup job and backup to external SD card. It will back up the EFS file in our external SD card so that we can restore from there. It will take here some time. Our backup has completed here. Again, I'm repeating you before proceeding take a complete backup here. Take a complete backup from backup and restore of, of your device so that if, you, if there is a problem, you can go back to your previous ROM or stock Android or stro stock Samsung user interface. I would say then what you need to do is to uh, wipe data factory reset clean to install a new ROM yes I will install a new ROM here it is complete 
now wipe sash partition sorry sash partition here select wipe sash it will wipe out the sash here then what you need to do is to go to advanced wipe dalvik sashi here go back and then uh, go to mounts and storage format your internal memory sd card that is click yes you f go back and now you we are ready to install the new rom click on install zip choose from external sd card and select your ROM that was DN3 by eTeam. Select here and yes. It will take you around uh, three minutes to install this ROM. So let's wait here. Our installation has been completed here. Just press any key here. Now go back and uh, reboot system now. Our installation has completed here. It is booting right now. It will take some time here as since this is first booting, uh, it will take around 5 minutes. So let's wait few seconds here I'm gonna uh, cut this edit this video right now device has booted up Just select your language here next I'm gonna skip this no not now name your device anything Skip and we are going to home and always select OK. Yay! You have just installed the features of Samsung Galaxy Note 3 in your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, like, first the magazines here. I'm going to open this. You can see the magazine, the new user interface with icons. There are several others here. You are back here with extra features there down there. And settings, we have the tabbed setting right now, as you can see. And going about device, and as you can see, Android 4.3 with kernel version, build number, date to DN3 version see here so that's how you need to get the features of note 3 uh, hope you like it and hope you install it too uh, again I'm giving a warning you uh, take a complete backup uh, before you begin so thank you for watching this video guys hope you like it and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you